Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Jay Speak. This week we answer some questions. First question, do I prefer reverse or non-reverse Firebirds? Personally, I really love a good non-reverse Firebird. I think I like that shape better. Generally crazy about the necks, they're kind of like thin and flat. I do love me a good Firebird. I had a Firebird Studio, the first run they did back in... I want to say like 2002, 2005, something like that. They made a cherry, an ebony, and a classic white. And I have the classic white. And I played that guitar for years. Great guitar. I believe it came with 490 and a 498. And it was a thicker, probably about the size of a Les Paul. Rounded corners, not your traditional Firebird. It, it was different than the Firebird 5 they were making at the time that has that raised center block. This was complete flat top, but rounded sides. Kind of reminded me of an Explorer just because it was enormous. Uh, but that guitar was super fun to play, and I played that guitar for years. I tend to like non-reverse Firebirds and Firebirds, but I think non-reverse Firebird is probably my go-to if I had to pick one. Yeah. For sure. Question two, given how much you talk about Les Pauls, you still own them. Why? <laughs> I like Les Pauls, don't get me wrong. I don't like sitting with Les Pauls. They sit too far back on my leg and I just don't like that. As far as standing with them and playing with them, I really don't have an issue. Kind of nothing sounds like a Les Paul. You know, 335s, Explorers, SGs, they all have slight differences and Les Pauls, they're really good at like a big, thick tone and they can, they're great for lead work, they're great for rhythm stuff. You can't really go wrong with a Les Paul. I just prefer to play other guitars sitting down. Like Flying Vs, I think are super cool and I love Flying Vs, but I like playing them standing. I don't really wanna sit with them. So, you know, go figure. I don't really have anything against Les Pauls. I prefer the way a Tele sits. I guess if Gibson made a Les Paul that sat kind of differently, maybe that would be cool, but maybe that's an L6. Is that an L6? Anyway, I don't really have a true distaste for Les Pauls. I just prefer other guitars, if that makes sense. Question three was about having different pieces of gear and how some of them interact with each other and how some might be good with different pairings. And this individual was just asking for advice. Or my overall response is certain things pair really well together. And just because you have your Les Paul and your Marshall and you're used to that sound and you go buy a Mesa amp or a Bogner or a Freeman or anything else, it's not necessarily going to be exactly the same. EQs aren't going to match. Uh, guitar settings might not match. Pedals might not even match. Um, for the most part, they might be in the ballpark, but not everything's going to be exactly the same. I think playing multiple guitars can be helpful. They can also be a pain in the butt. I, I know one band I was playing with, I kind of wanted everything to sound very similar, but I just wanted to be able to change guitars for tuning and even purchasing the same guitar doesn't necessarily yield the same sonic result. So I went through quite a few buying and selling and trying to find stuff that was really similar, but a little different that just worked better for different tunings. And, you know, I eventually got there, but it's kind of a painful process. I would just keep an open mind to gear and know that you might have to change settings on an amp or use a guitar differently than you normally would with anything else. It, it's just, it's a learning thing. And, you know, I'm guilty as anybody. You just want to play. So you just plug in, you don't fiddle with the controls and you play. Other times you sit there for two hours trying to tweak a sound on a Mesa and you're still not happy. I mean, it's kind of a, its own thing, but I would encourage you, you know, experimenting really is the best way to uh, say it. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.